Some new guidelines for youth sports could get them back on the field faster. The state saying if a county's case rate is below 14 per 100,000, they can hold in-person practice. Currently, Fresno County doesn't meet that criteria. As our Kaylee Hunt reports, there's optimism that will change in the weeks to come. Outdoor high contact sports like football can be played in counties in the purple or red tier, but only if the county case rate is at or below 14 positive tests per 100,000 residents. Currently, Fresno County does not meet this threshold, meaning high school sports are still not allowed. Obviously, we were hoping uh, for the path to be a little bit easier but at least is a start. Bullard High football coach Don Urax wants to play, but believes the guidance can be met. And I think you're going to see some kids with a little bit different sparkle open their eyes uh, because it's reachable and it's there. And it's, and, it's, and it's in a way that we don't have all the control of it, but it's a lot better than what it was. Russ Pickett with Hoover High School says his student athletes now have something to look forward to. Pickett is optimistic Fresno can get the numbers down to allow in-person practice. There are going to be some uh, requirements for student athletes and parents to comply with with regards to consent forms and with regards to the school having to test a uh, student athlete. Once Fresno County has met the threshold to hold outdoor sports, weekly testing will be required for football, rugby, and water polo athletes 13 years and older. And Dr. Reese Fora says getting tested should not be a problem. We've worked really hard on establishing a, a really good program of testing all through the county. You know, we, we passed mandates that every primary care doctor has to offer testing. Kaylee Hunt, KC24, Local News That Matters.